Department of Defense films, the one that will stand the test of time as being the most racist, is rules of engagement. The film was written by former Secretary of the Navy, James Webb. The action takes place in Yemen, a real country in the Middle East. There are violent demonstrations at the American Embassy and the Marines, led by Samuel L. Jackson. They're called in to evacuate the American employees. And as they try to do so, the Marines open fire on the crowd and kill scores of Yemeni, including women and children. And in the investigation that follows, Tommy Lee Jones, the lawyer who represents the Samuel Jackson character, goes to Yemen to investigate. The movie leads us to believe what seems obvious, that the Marines committed this atrocity. Armed American Marines, they were shooting at his people. They were just trying to defend themselves. During his investigation, Jones's character sees a little girl with only one leg. He follows her comes upon a hospital ward full of civilian victims. He finds an audio tape by the bed of one of the victims. And when the tape gets translated in court, we immediately begin changing our minds about who is responsible for this massacre. To kill Americans and their allies, both civil and military, is duty of every Muslim who is able. We discover that the Yemeni civilians aren't so innocent after all. It turns out they fired on the Marines first. And in a moment that will live in Hollywood infamy, we suddenly learn that the little girl we've been sympathizing with, the very girl whose humanity and innocence may have broken down our stereotypes, well, she's no better than those other Yemeni terrorists. As a result, when Samuel L. Jackson delivers the key line, Where's the motherfuckers? we're now on his side. Why does this matter? Because in the end, the massacre of even women and children has been justified and applauded. It's a slaughter, yes, but it's a righteous slaughter. Sergeant Mack. Sir? Contact all stations. Mission complete. The humanity is not there. And if we cannot see the Arab humanity, what's left? If we feel nothing, if we feel that Arabs are not like us, or not like anyone else, then let's kill them all. Then they deserve to die, right? <laughs>